Bobby Joe Chase is next to say three mile and one third on grade two. And at the top, he's as good as it gets for Leon Van Rensburg, who's also got half shear. Lord Decoy and Maguro Blade for Patrick Hogan. Moleskin Jones for John Morgan. Potomac River for Obi Wan. The Uncle for Joshua Sutherland. Tommy Clarence and Ash Kalara favourite. Both for David Robertson. Fatima Whitbread for Paul Rhodes. Hahira City for Darren Thompson. Jay's Girl, John Morgan and Pink Gin. David Hooley, a field of 13 then in the Bobby Joe. And the rain is coming down. They called in and ready to go, and off they go. And Moleskin Jones is the one to take it up. And Moleskin will come pretty handy in a day like today, but ooh, didn't jump that very well at all. Ran straight into it and has subsequently lost that early lead. There's a line of about four of them sharing the lead at the moment as they come into the second of the 19. And it's a mistake at the back this time was by Polymac River, but it's the uncle for. Joshua Sutherland is going to take them along than it would seem. On the Padraig Hogan pair second and third. And the John Morgan pair fourth and fifth as they take this ditch. Which they're all safely to the other side of. And the uncle is the leader. By about four lengths or so. To Lord Decoy in second. Moleskin Jones having recovered from that mistake is third. And after that one comes Maguro Blade and Pink Gin. Looking towards the back, Fatima Whitbread is now just a back marker. But the uncle is in front. Moleskin Jones in second. And Lord Decoy is third. And then Jay's Girl and Tommy Clarence. Pink Gin's after that one. Ash Kalara favourite, just struggling a little bit at the back there. It's been bustled along to keep up with the rest of them. The pace is pretty hot it would seem because the uncle has got them well strung out. Coming into the sixth. Really attack that fence there the uncle. And he's got six clear of Lord Decoy and Moleskin Jones. They in turn are a couple of lengths ahead of Jay's Girl and Tommy Clarence. They in Maguro Blade. Polymac River is also Put a little bit closer, the Leon Van Rensburg pair are together, half sharing as good as it gets. Fatima Whitbread has made a forward move past Ahira City as they take the seventh, where the mistake was from Lord Decoy. But the uncle is well clear at this point. Went into fence number eight and really attacking his fences as well. And Joshua Sutherland will be hoping to see this one this far in front next time round. As they come up past the stand, champion trainer elect Joshua Sutherland then with a big hand going into the Cheltenham Festival next week. Not sure whether this is one of his gold cup horses. We've got plenty more big races over three miles or so this week, so it could be. We'll have to wait and see. If it wins this one impressively though, it could have been in there with a chance, but it's the uncle we're talking about who's clearing the lead coming into number nine steps over that one nicely from lord decoy in second tommy clarence is third jay's girl is fourth then maguro blade and moleskin jones as they head to this ditch the uncle's lead is now considerably reduced and there's a fall of air jay's girl's gone so john morgan's still having one or two problems with his jumpers His second faller in the races I've covered so far today as they get over the 11th. And they're all safely over that one with the uncle in the lead. From Tommy Clarence in second, Lord Decoy in third, Maguro Blade is fourth, then Ash Kalara favourite is next, then half sheer and as good as it gets. Fatima Whitbread and Hahira City. Over the 12th they go, Polymac River is now the back marker again. The uncle continues to lead into number 13. Another mistake there by Lord Decoy. Moleskin Jones has lost his place and dropped right out the back as well. A 
all over that one safely. So it's still the uncle then. By a couple of lengths to Tommy Clarence in second. Lord Decoy is in third. Maguro Blade is fourth. Ahira City is getting into it. Ashkalara, favourite who was really struggling early on, is now getting back into the race as well. The two are struggling now at the back of Moleskin Jones and Potomac River. But it's the uncle who's in the lead. Ahira City has now moved through into second. Ashkalara, favourite third. Over the third last fence they go. And the uncle still in the lead. But here comes Ashkalara, favourite. On the outside running a big race, Hahira City and Lord Decoy on the inside, then as good as it gets, Fatima Whitbread is also trying to run on, but it's still the uncle who's been clear all the way so far, two and a half furlongs to go. Jockey has a little look round. The uncle is clear in front from Ashkalara, favourite in second. They're coming down towards the second last, and the uncle jumps over it nicely, gets away from it well, possibly even extends the lead. Ashkalara, favourite is second. Lord Decoy, third, as good as it gets, is fourth. And they're not going to get to this uncle, I don't think. He comes to the final fence, a nice jump should seal it. Gets over it nicely. Here comes Lord Decoy trying to close in second, but the uncle is well clear still. And the uncle is a pillar to post winner for Joshua Southern. Got to put himself in the Gold Cup picture for next week with that, I would think. The uncle takes it cosily from Ashkelar, a favourite second, Lord Decoy third, as good as it gets, and Tommy Clarence after that, then Fatima Whitbread. Ponomac River gave up the ghost in the end and didn't complete the course, but the uncle has taken that one pretty easily, really. Oh, Joshua Southern, I wonder he's got a headache for next week, deciding which two to stick in the Gold Cup, but it's the uncle that's the winner today. For Joshua Sutherland. Second was Ashkalara, favourite for David Robertson. Lord Decoy, Padre Hogan was third. As good as it gets for Leon Van Rinsburg, fourth. And Tommy Clarence for David Robertson was fifth.